So the Laboratory of Laser Energetics at the University of Rochester is a world-renowned uh, research entity of scale. It's a research center, but it's in embedded in a university. We're a world-leading center for inertial fusion research. Uh, we also are a world-leading center for the study of matter under extreme conditions, which you find in stars and planets. The other thing we do is we are a world-renowned laser center. That is a center that, uh, in, in terms of high peak power lasers, we're one of the few centers in the world which is recognized as a lead in the research in both uh, laser technology, optics, and engineering. So this laboratory is involved in uh, many aspects of uh, physics that use lasers. We do uh, laser fusion, so that's nuclear fusion, and uh, um, physics uh, in support of uh, national security and uh, basic sciences. LLE and, uh, is somewhat special because we use lasers to achieve nuclear fusion. Other laboratories around the world, uh, for the most part, they use big magnets to, uh, to produce fusion plasmas. The laser itself is almost the size of a football field. It's the largest laser at, uh, at an academic institution in the world. We are a major user facility. So many people from around the world, over 400 researchers, 85 institutions, they come and they research at uh, our, our facilities here. What attracted me to the University of Rochester and specifically the Laboratory for Laser Energetics was the unique combination of laser scientists, plasma physicists, optical engineers, and facilities that really enable us to do a wide range of scientific endeavors. Uh, with that diversity, we are able to look at training students um, and having strong interactions with the students and also having the capabilities of a national laboratory. The multi toroid laser system was originally developed as a prototype for the front end of the Omega EP laser system, which is a much bigger system at the Laboratory for Laser Energetics. Uh, it is now being used as a, as a standalone facility uh, for people conducting um, experiments of interaction of laser pulses at high intensities with a variety of targets. The experiments that are performed on this laser system range from target physics experiments to laser technology development. As far as physics experiments are concerned, uh, there is a range of experiments, uh, for example, astrophysics in the laboratory, high energy density physics, so I'm in the High Energy Density Physics Experimental Group, and in our group we study matter at extreme conditions. And we create those extreme conditions using the Omega EP and the Omega laser facilities. We use the Omega laser to compress samples over a billionth of a second, and over that short time scale the material is in this high pressure state. The properties of matter at extreme conditions is important to planetary science, inertial confinement fusion, and for national security. Personally, I very much enjoy the job that I'm working on, not only through the interaction with the students and, and watching the growth that happens in, in that process, but also in the contributions to the potential societal benefits that we uh, have on a daily basis. And, and the idea that if someday we could have fusion in the laboratory that was an energy source, um, and the impact that would have um, on our world is, is quite rewarding. So the role of students at, uh, in our research is critical. Uh, we have about 340 staff members, but we have 140 students who populate the laboratory. And one of the things that they get exposed to is research at the highest level. My research uses the MTW laser system and a novel uh, ultra-fast Thompson scattering diagnostic to study uh, picosecond thermodynamics in a laser-produced plasma. My research involves using the multi-terawatt laser to um, drive a flying focus which produces an ionization front that moves at the speed of light and we use that ionization front to upshift photons from the uh, from the optical frequencies into the ultraviolet frequencies. My work is developing uh, plasma-based amplifiers using the multi-terawatt laser and the optical parametric amplifier line. We combine those lasers in a plasma and look for efficient high power energy transfer. My research uses the Omega laser to study uh, ion wave saturation uh, driven by multiple laser beams in an inertial confinement fusion plasma. My work involves expanding Thomson scattering to measure electron distribution function. We took that from MTW where we developed the technique and now we're moving it to Omega to do it on a full scale. 
students trained at the la Laboratory for Laser Energetics are really ready to step right into jobs um, that entail things like national security within the national laboratories or um, academic settings where they can walk in and become professors and really contribute to the um, broader impact of science uh, at a very high level. In 2018, we had the Nobel Prize in Physics awarded uh, to researchers at this laboratory. So the graduate student was Donna Strickland. Donna is only the third woman in the history of the Nobel to win this in physics. Uh, and she is the only woman who got this who was educated in the United States at the University of Rochester. We are part of a university, and over the past uh, 50 years since this place has been formed, we have graduated over 500 PhDs, both from the University of Rochester and, as I said, from the user community that comes and uses our facilities. And these students end up in uh, national laboratories, they end up in uh, industry, they end up in academia, and they help make the world a better place.